what's up my people how you doing <laughs> so um first of all i just want to say sorry a big sorry to all of you people who were actually in high anticipation you know about my interview that should have been held today yeah so you're sorry yeah your number ain't happy again but here's the reason that it didn't happen so um i got to the station freedom fm 10 45 because my interview is supposed to be at 11 a.m there's an artist that was going on the first segment before me and dc he was on from 10 to 11 and i was coming after him at 11 a.m so i'm looking at my time and i'm somebody who you know really this whole time thing like if i'm going to a place an event i always tell myself if i arrive there like 30 minutes before time that means i'm on time if i arrive there like exactly the time that is stated for that means i'm late so i'm very time conscious so i got i got there like around 10 45 that's like 50 minutes you know to time in my mind so i'm telling myself i late even though it's 50 minutes to time so when i got there when, my, when i and my team got there or my team and i got there we met this guy who we talked to you know they asked what was my mission there and stuff so i said oh i have an interview at 11 a.m with dj dawn so i'm D in fact i'm like i'm dj Leisha and i have an interview like if this thing was actually planned huh the moment i even say my name i'm dj Leisha because at least i think that info is supposed to already even be out there like okay at 11 we have this person coming on so when the person come you know did it did it so when i got there and i said i'm dj Leisha, i'm i'm here for an interview at 11 and the guy was like Okay, I said then with DJ Don, he said, okay, but DJ Don on air right now. So I said, okay, but could you just let him know that I'm here? So he went in the on air room and he came back. I don't know if he went inside or not. I don't know. But he came back outside to where we were sitting, you know, at the reception area there. And he's like, oh, um, he will be with you soon. He's on air. Something he said like that. So I said, okay. We are sitting. And then the you know what's going on the interview that's going on you hearing it because they have a big speaker out there so i'm listening to everything around 10 50 i realized that the interview is still going on so i'm like okay but i thought they're supposed to be wrapping up now and even announcing the next um interviewee that they, they have for the day or they have coming up how come this interview still sounds like it's still going long because you can tell when something is wrapping up now so I was like, uh-uh, I have a lot of things to do today. And we're not coming to do that like we thing yet. Nah, you're not working. So I decided to, you know, contact um, DJ Dawn. So I wrote him around like, okay, first of all, I'm like, you know what? Let me chill a little bit and see. Maybe they will come, up before, come out before that time. But then at 10.57, I realized that the interview is still going on. So then I texted DJ Dawn. I'm like, um, I'm outside though. I've been here a little while now. So you had me on or you have me on according to your flyer. You and your host or your co-host, Lauren Kwaba, you guys have me on um, for 11 a.m. But I'm still hearing interview going on. But I'm still, I'm outside. You know, I said it like that. Like I still sitting down outside. I'm with you. And I, I didn't get any response. Okay, now I know that he's on air. So probably he will not, you know, have his phone on vib um, vibration or on ringtone or something. But then I realized that the entire phone is off. Because after like it reached 11 a.m., I'm like, no, let me call this guy. I called DJ, Dawn, DJ Dawn's number and it switched off. Hmm. Okay. So then I saw some, you know, I saw a lady passing. So I was like, who is the receptionist here? I went there and I met a guy sitting, you know, I think he's an artist. He's an artist. I met him sitting and I asked him, 
do you know the receptionist here he said no i don't know so when this lady was passing i asked her i'm like who is the receptionist here she said anything i said yes i said i'm supposed to be on at 11 i have an interview with dj dawn and lawrence kwaba so she said dj dawn i yell he ain't come to work today i'm like huh DJ Donald come to work. He even sent me a message to say I will not be, you know, there. So only my co-host will be there or something. No communication at all. And around 9 a.m., you know, when we were when we were getting ready to leave, I was telling my husband, I'm like, I don't understand. Oh. I don't even understand what's happening. You're going for interview. The interviewer even called to say, oh, you know, to settle everything. Like, please remember that we have... Or, you know an interview around 11 will you be available or something nothing i told him that and just for other go there we see that other one the men are there he flew off everything then the artist that was on air at the time and dc his manager came out and you know he spoke to my husband who is lorenzo because you know um lorenzo they know each other like that so he, they, they, they had a couple of exchange, you know, going on between them. And he was asking Lorenzo, what's up? What are you guys here for? And Lorenzo said, oh, I brought her for an interview. Me. He, I brought her for an interview. It was supposed to be on at 11. But they said DJ Don is not here. He said, yeah, DJ Don is not here. But we have um, Lawrence Kwaba on. So I will tell Lawrence, you know, that you are here. So Lorenzo was like, okay. And then Lorenzo even decided to follow to see what was happening. But then Lorenzo came by and he's like, okay, you know what? let's wait a minute let's wait a bit so within that time it's already past 11 like few minutes after 11 lawrence kwaba comes outside lawrence is the co-host for you know dj dawn so he's the interviewer he comes out and he sees me he's like hey what's up how you doing i said not bad and then he comes with two plain sheets in his hands in his hands and he gave me the sheet and he's like write your name on the sheet I said, my name? You know, earlier on, I was even telling Lorenzo, I said, now that DJ Don is not here, this whole thing is kind of crazy to me because DJ Don and myself will go way back. So he will actually know, you know, questions like he will be familiar with me like that to ask me some real, you know, way back questions and stuff. Lawrence and myself, I don't know, but he's an interviewer, so I guess he knows his job. But I was just saying it like that. So it's kind of complicated. Anyway, Lawrence comes out with two sheets and asked and ask <laughs> asked me <laughs> in English bro, <laughs> to write my name. So I'm like, what for? He said, just write your name on the sheet. So I said, okay, I wrote DJ Leisha. And then I was giving it to him. He said that your name there. I said, yes, that's my name. He said that your name, your mind, your pack, you. So I was like, okay, why is he talking to me like this? I wrote Wale Alicia Quillwood. Giving it to him. Then he, he tells me I should write my whole info, you know, stuff about me. So I'm like, what for? And then within that moment, he was like, I can see you doing all that wah wah thing on Facebook. Uh uh. Lawrence? why are you telling me that like what what does that have to do with what we are doing here and i'm thinking is this how these people normally talk to their interviewees or so now i'm not trying to bring the people radio station down or anything or because they've been doing their thing i'm only explaining my experience hmm and I don't know if he meant that as a joke or something, but no, you don't joke with people like that. People don't know. You don't joke with people like that. Like, you and myself, we rather don't have that kind of joke between us. So, it sounded somehow to me. So, when, then, when he said it like that, and then he telling me to write all of my info there, you know, stuff about, about me. Lorenzo, who is like my manager, he was like, uh-uh, it's not going to happen. The fact that, you know, DJ Don is not even here and we didn't even get any communication concerning everything that's going on now. First of all, when Kwaba came out, when Lawrence came out, the first thing he told me was, you got interview 11 and you just come in? I said, no, I'm not just coming. I came here 10, 45, 15 minutes to 11. That does not say um, you are late. No. So he still wanted to tell me how... 
some other person has has an interview after me and the person was there before me that person knows his schedule and he knows why he was there that early i know that my time is 11 and i was there 10 45. it doesn't say i'm late so you been in there doing your carrying on your interview you don't even know what happened outside so don't just come and tell me that i'm just coming so you know i try to clarify that also and then it was like a whole low talking thing going on so lorenzo is like no and then lawrence took the sheet and he was going so i'm like why are you so temperamental what's happening but you know the whole thing was just like that and lorenzo is like let's go we're not doing this interview and i'm like yeah because with this kind of attitude it's a no no so i'm sorry this is why we didn't have the interview and these are some of the reasons this interview has been pending for like four months since i was contacted for this interview but at this point you know when people come back home and they just decide to be in their corners and stuff it's because some of us we have seen professionally how things supposed to be done we're not trying to do the same old same old we go outside we get the experiences we come back and we're trying to live by it not to keep doing the same liberian thing liberian way no it doesn't work like that since somebody like me i can imagine in my little corner doing my little vlogging thing i got my own platform that i can talk on that i can give my information on to people also i won't disrespect anybody i won't do it so with this attitude now and i already been in my little corner since i came by i've been dodging ready dodging or interview i can get interview anywhere anytime huh they're not hearty now so i just been in my little corner khaki you know but i mean that's what's up man so i just want to say sorry to you guys hmm because all of us were really looking forward to it. So you're sorry, yeah? Your nama. You're sorry. <laughs> I love your nama. Bye-bye. Have a pleasant weekend. A delicious filled weekend. A delicious filled weekend. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>